Turn it up, turn it up, feel the high, feel it now, we run. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is a special episode. As you know, I'm right now in Spain on vacation, so today's vlog isn't about my usual content being about me making music, being a music producer, DJ, touring around, making music in the studio. Today I wanted to answer a couple of questions a lot of people had about my vlog setup. So as you know I started almost two years ago daily vlogging. Today I want to reveal to you what equipment I use and specifically just talk about the gear. I will do another video about editing and some creative choices and how I try to have a story or at least a topic in my videos. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of empty space. Let's just get off the equipment. So yeah, that's, that's all I use. That's basically everything I use on a daily basis. I always have it with me whenever I travel. That's the stuff I need to make my vlogs. I know there are people with crazier setups, but usually there are two people or more filming everything. So this is just me making everything on a daily basis. So um, I don't really know where to start. Maybe just with, um, let's start with a selfie stick. So this right here is the Sirui, I hope I'm pronouncing this correct, 32 to 35K. It is really cool because it folds out like this so you can use it as a tripod and you can also extend it. And if you want to use it as a selfie stick, you basically just grab it like this, have the camera on top right here. I'm filming with it right now, so the camera will be probably the last part of the setup. I only have one main camera. I'm using the Sony A6500 at the moment, but I will switch in a week to the A7 III, but more on that later. So yeah, that's the selfie stick. I need one every half year because these legs loosen up, so Right now, the camera is standing on one, on the old one. This is the new one. It's still totally new and fresh. I also got this selfie stick. This is a very cheap one from Primark. It extends a lot longer, but the Sony camera doesn't go on here. It's way too heavy, so this is just really for the GoPro. The third one right here is a cheap rip of, of the, the Joby ones that you can bend just in case I need to attach it to a pole or something because that's the only thing this one can do it can stand on on the ground even and stuff but wrapping things around things this one was the right one with the joby things i didn't have a lot of success they tend to break and then you just can't use them anymore then there is this this is one of the newer things i got myself because my girlfriend was complaining about me vlogging while driving so these are two suction cups you can attach it to the car, to any window, anything that is just flat. I have here the same ball hat as on my selfie stick. This lets me do really cool time lapses while driving, getting different angles, um, attach it really close to the tires, or just with the GoPro in combination, getting cool hyperlapses. I really love it. The suction cups are extremely strong. There are two, so if one fails, there's still another one. And you can even turn this one around and like put it into corners if that's something you need. Then of course the GoPro, I use it only if I can't use my main camera, so underwater. And if I put it somewhere where the other one just doesn't fit or I'm afraid of breaking it, I just used it the other day on the ground of the pool and jumping on top of it. It just looks amazing for these kind of shots. I hate that it distorts, but it's an action camera, so you can try to correct it and post if, if you don't like it. Then also a nice little gadget, this right here is um, for, for making spinning time lapses. It just turns around, I think it does, what does it do, 120 minutes, it does 360, and it's cool to have a more dynamic time lapses basically. Only downside, <laughs> never seems to stop, so for the rest of the video, Come on. And of course, a lot of batteries. These batteries are already for the new camera, the A7 III that I ordered. Um, it, of course, arrived while I'm here on vacation, so someone else that is coming here to Spain is picking it up for me and bringing it here. So two or three more days and I get finally to use it. Already got the batteries, the charger for it as well. Then, of course, the drone. I just love it. This is unfortunately already number two. The DJI Spark, it's extremely small, it only shoots in HD, which is enough for daily vlog. 4K isn't really doable 
for a daily vlog, I think, at the moment. And only a tiny percent of people actually is interested in 4K content at the moment. So for now, man, this is so annoying. Believe me, you will definitely crash it. I crashed mine in the first week. If you do a daily vlog and almost fly the drone every day, just get the cheapest one. And this is the cheapest one that actually does a decent job. The footage quality isn't the best. It's basically a flying smartphone, but um, if you get a nice angle shooting from above down onto the ocean, it just looks beautiful. Of course, spare batteries, the drone, one battery, it's like, 10 to 12 minutes depending on the wind. The controller for the drone, I mean you can fly the drone with your smartphone but I would highly advise against it. The range is just Wi-Fi so 30 meters, it's really unreliable so definitely definitely get the controller. Additional propellers just in case, USB-C, USB, SD card adapter, really important for, for the smaller SD cards that the drone and the GoPro needs. Uh, normal type A batteries for the microphone, the external microphone of the camera. Hard drive, if you shoot a daily vlog, you shoot like 60 gigabytes a day, so you definitely need an external hard drive. AirPods for editing at night while my girlfriend is sleeping and um, I'm editing, really important. As well as the big headphones actually used for producing music, but if I'm, for example, on an airplane, I need something that just isolates a lot more. Left is of course the MacBook, you need something to edit on. I use Final Cut X, I think it's the best software for editing a, a vlog, a daily vlog. It's just fast, it's reliable, it doesn't give you a whole lot of options but you don't need them for shooting a daily vlog. It's not like a full Hollywood production thing. Left are the two lenses I have, this right here is the Sony FE4 16-35, it's an ultra wide angle lens. That is meant for full frames, so on the A6500 it crops in by a factor of 1.6, so I'm not using it at the moment, that's for the A7 III when it arrives here. And then a newer lens that I just got recently, it's the 24 to 240 it's an ultra zoom lens, so I don't have to move a lot, I can get a lot of nice, neat shots of things that are just far away. It's F. 3.5 to 6.3 which isn't really the best but usually I only use it during the day to just get closer to things and I almost shoot all of my b-roll with it because you can get more background blur and it looks extremely nice if you do it in um, 120 frames per second and just slow it down. Then my phone, I always have it with me, it's the iPhone 7, it's waterproof so I sometimes use it when I don't have the other stuff with me. Usually I have the camera always with me, but in some cases I just use the phone. It's also actually quite good doing time lapses. And then of course the last thing is, is the main camera. Um, so maybe let's just switch to the GoPro really quick. So that's again the Sony A6500 with a 10 to 18 lens. It's also again ultra wide can zoom in a little and on top the external microphone. So that's what it is recording right now. The microphone is a Shure, the Lenshopper VP83. So that's usually how I hold it. And now back to the main camera. That's the normal distance. You can zoom in a little, gets really tight, zoom it out again. It's really by far the best lens for vlogging because it gives you that wide range. So yeah, that's basically my vlogging setup. If you're interested in any of the things you just saw in this video, it's all linked down below in the description. And I can't wait to get the a7 III and then show you that all over again because my a7S broke a month ago. So the a6500 is just a replacement if you do a daily vlog. It just needs to continue. Also, if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments and I will do another video about how I edit my videos and also some general vlogging tips if that's something you're interested in. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little equipment vlog video. And yeah, tomorrow, probably again, back just to sitting here at the house, enjoying the pool and relaxing. Shake the feeling
can help.